At Wheeler Machinery, the safety of Wheeler Associates and customers is always the first consideration in all aspects of our business. We encourage all Wheeler Associates and customers to wear proper PPE at all times. The startup and shutdown procedures for our rental air compressors follow a similar procedure. First, always make sure that the outlet valve is in the closed position. It is also important to note that when shutting down the air compressor to ensure that the valve is closed, leaving it open in either situation could result in large amounts of oil blow-by. The second step is to check the emergency stop button. Make sure that it is not depressed. It should also be noted that you should not use the emergency stop to shut down the machine during normal use. It is intended only for emergency situations. Each machine is programmed with a cool-down timer which should not be bypassed. The third step is to turn the battery cutoff switch to the on position. The battery cutoff switch should also never be used to shut down a machine. Once the battery switch is turned on, open the control panel cover and turn the switch to the on position. After the panel powers on and shows ready to start, press the green start button. The warm-up procedure can take anywhere from a few seconds to five minutes. After the warm-up is complete, you will be ready to load the compressor by pressing the load button on the panel. Once the compressor has loaded completely, you will be able to open the outlet valve and start working. To shut down the compressor, first make sure that the outlet valve is closed. Then unload the machine by pressing the unload button on the panel. After the machine is unloaded, press the red stop button. The machine will go through a cool-down procedure which will vary in length depending on how hard the machine has been working. Once the cool-down is complete, turn the panel switch to the off position, then turn the battery cutoff switch to the off position. If the machine you have rented is labeled as Tier 4 Interim or Tier 4 Final, please be aware that it is equipped with emissions control components such as a diesel particulate filter or DPF. On these machines, they will occasionally need to go through a DPF regeneration, which cleans the soot or ash from the DPF. This procedure is done automatically, and if the machine starts the regeneration sequence while being operated, please do not manually bypass the regeneration. This can cause the DPF to become completely blocked with soot and could render the machine non-functional.